What's up, Stogie Geeks listeners? Joe Hosemper here, a.k.a. Joe Hollywood, a.k.a. The Italian Styling, telling you about a little giveaway that we have going on. We've teamed up with our sponsor, J.C. Newman, this year to give back to the Stogie Geeks listener. They've been such an awesome partner so far. They've decided to give away one Diamond Crown Humidor per quarter to the winner that they choose. All you got to do is log on to stogiegeeks.com forward slash Diamond Crown. Click on the Enter to Win button. It's really that easy. So if you're smart and you want an awesome humidor for your home collection, go to our website, stogiegeeks.com. Find that banner ad right on top. Click on it and register to win that humidor. Good luck. Welcome back to episode 308 of Stogie Geeks. I am your host, Joe Hozempa, and Drew is joining us live via Zoom out in Thunderstorm, Texas. Drew, how's it going? Good. Uh, it's just uh, rainy and stormy over here, and uh, looking forward to uh, cooler weather, but not this cold. I was hoping it would transition from the 90s to the 80s and then 70s and so forth, but it dropped all the way down to the 40s today so it's it's cold uh how's it going with you it's going good it's going good just to let you know this segment we had a interview with aman he's the man he's the managing partner for dav cigars and as we speak he is circling the local airport over there and waiting for a spot to land because of all those thunderstorms so our interview has been postponed But uh, we're going to take a quick second and talk about an event that Drew is attending this week. But before uh, we do that, I want to talk to you a little bit about Placencia Cigars. Placencia Cigars is one of the world's leading growers of first-class tobacco, as they have been pioneers in the industry since 1865. Five generations of the Placencia family have continued in the legacy of Nicaragua and Honduras. Today, the Placencia family's very own cigar line, led by CEO and master blender Nesta Placencia, produces over 40 million handmade cigars each year. Placencia Cigars celebrates their Nicaraguan roots through their premium Alma series, inclusive of the complex blends of the Alma Fuerte, the Alma del Campio, and their newest release, the Alma del Fuego, each harvested in the pure soils of Nicaragua. Go to stogiegeeks.com, click on that Placencia banner, and find yourself a retailer near you. And maybe Tuesday, if you go to stogiegeeks.com forward slash Placencia, there'll be a video up there for you to watch as well. Um, there you go. So, uh, Drew, we're not going to yes. be able to interview <clears throat> Aman. We're going to reschedule that interview, but I just want to take a couple of seconds uh, for you to talk because we were going to end that interview with uh, what is going on uh, for you this weekend. You have an event with Cigars and Spirits. Tell yes. us about it. Yes. So, if you, uh, so geek listeners, if you find yourself in the Dallas Fort Worth area this weekend, or if you're here in our great state, uh, if you do get a chance, uh, come out and check out the Cigars and Spirits uh, event. Uh, it starts about 5.30 in the evening. Uh, ends about 10.30, I believe it is. It, it is going to be in the city of Fort Worth at the uh, the Panther Island Pavilion. Uh, there, there will be many offerings of spirits to uh, a sample. Uh, there will be many cigar lines there, uh, uh, there for you to enjoy and uh, take home as well. Uh, I will be walking around on behalf of Stoic Geeks and Prestige Cigars uh, Tobacco and Lounge uh, there, and I'll be doing some interviews and taking photos and all that uh, more, you know, good stuff of intro- uh, meeting people uh, from all over the uh, uh, United States because there'll be a lot of people there. So uh, I look forward to talking with y'all and uh, just meeting everybody and uh, uh, enjoying the uh, sticks and uh, spirits. And uh, you'll get to meet some of my crew that gets that kind of hangs around me. We're kind of like the entourage, just better <laughs> but, <laughs> it's awesome <laughs> yeah but uh, other than that yeah it's uh also the big thing going on here is the uh, red river showdown uh between texas and oklahoma so you'll see a, a sea of red and sea of orange going on uh there'll be a lot of that uh camaraderie going on between the two uh schools here at the big texas state fair that's going on as well so uh yeah if you come in uh 
if you're in town, come by uh, to this uh, wonderful event uh, that Cigars and Spirits is putting together, and uh, look forward to meeting you. And the Yankees should be in town. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So last, so yesterday the Astros pulled it off, uh, yeah. as as everybody knew that they would. Uh, so I'm I'm torn because I'm a Yankees fan. Uh, I'm also I was also a Dodgers fan. Uh, and since I transplanted here back in 2013, I've become a Texas uh, sports fan. Um, so I just love the uh, you know the, a lot of the the, the uh, how do you say banter that happens there uh, is banter uh, and especially i mean houston what three three spots in oh, yeah. three years um yeah. i like it i think it's super cool that verlander is no longer the show they have right. other talent over there um as a yankee fan i'm concerned I'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm not gonna lie and you know uh either way when i saw the fourth game it was actually the night when we went to the 25th anniversary party uh, for Kathleen over at uh, Queensbury Tobacco and Pipe. Congratulations to her on, on that accomplishment uh, as well. And we were watching the, that game. When they put Verlander in as an act of desperation or methodology, however you want to describe it, uh, I was like, huh, this is interesting. And I was like, if Tampa Bay even makes it, it's going to be real interesting. Because Tampa mm -hmm. Bay, in our division, uh, for both the Yankees and Red Sox has always been one of those spoiler teams that, you know, it's kind of oh, like yeah. to the Patriots and the Dolphins, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, usually when the Patriots go down to Miami for that last game before their playoff run, the Dolphins always freaking <laughs> find a way to to, <laughs> to, to to get the ball in the end zone more, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so uh, definitely um, that should be a, 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 a super cool series to watch. So that yeah, so the Dallas Cowboys are going to be up in the uh, up in the uh, I guess Northern Territory where you guys are at the uh, Jets. They up, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. So yeah, that's uh, yeah all the uh, all the stars, uh, <clears throat> all the uh, Cowboy fans here are, you know, now they're now they're sitting back silently, just wondering what's going to happen. Yeah, because they're thinking, well, this if the Jets are going to beat the one team, they'll probably beat the Dallas Cowboys, but I'm I'm hoping not because then. Uh, You'll you'll see all the bumper stickers get ripped off, and Jerry Jones will be you know he'll be getting all this hate mail. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I think I think that 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 they should be all right. Yeah, I think, think so too. I think the Yankees are going to win it in six. I think the Cowboys will win it. Yep. And I think you're going to have a good time at your cigars and spirits events. Uh, take good pictures. Oh, we'll, we'll post them up on Story Geek social media. Some. How some way we'll all have to email them to Mark and Johnny, and they'll take care of that. Um, you know, just make reference, Drew, of who you took a picture of, so that we. So especially if you uh, are there going to be any like kind of like uh, small batch or, or boutique brands there, or is it kind of yeah, like? For, okay, go ahead. Yeah, no, there's going to be a good mix of boutique brands cool. and you know the classic facing brands, of course. Uh, from what I understand, uh, uh, Fuentes has a big presence in this. Uh, uh, McAuliffe is the major sponsor of it. So he, he's got his whole, he's got his, you know, everybody, uh, together to come down and, and, and support the show. Uh, uh, it's its second year, uh, second annual. Mm -hmm. So from what I understand last year was a blast and this year is supposed to, it's from what I've been told, it's going to be an extravagant to go yeah. to. Well, so you I, know, it's always a good time when you can get together a group of people and talk cigars and, and you know, leave politics out out of it, and you'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sports, yeah, I think it's the... kind of impossible. You know, you got a lot. You got you got a lot of things going on uh, in both your region and my region, sports wise. So yeah. Oh, definitely. That's that's going to be a fun uh, fall for sure uh, during this next month or two. So. Do you agree with my that. assessment? Yankees and six, or? Um, I'm hoping they'll do that in in, in less than that. I mean, I. I, I I've I've followed uh, them this year uh, and uh, looking at stats and just kind of geeking out on that. Um, I know the Astros can can pose uh, you know a, a threat, but I believe the Yankees will pull this one off. So mm. number twenty seven, right? Is that what we're going for? Uh, eight. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Yes, okay. Uh, it's been a while. I haven't updated my patches because I haven't. Had to. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I hear you. I hear you. It's yeah. it's uh, it's it's interesting. Uh, needless to say, but I'll be watching that. Super cool. Excited yeah. to yeah. watch it. And um, yeah, uh, have fun at the event. Keep us yeah. posted. And uh, I'm sure we'll have to carve out some time next week for you to talk about the event and what happened and how that went. And if we get the pitches by then, the Story Geeks listener can follow along. If not, we'll have to put that up on the website uh, a week after the episode or whichever. And uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to the feedback and, and have fun at your event for sure. Yeah, thank you. Also, just uh, you know, just a reminder, everybody, I have an email address now, so send me oh, some emails. and your Let Twitter. Me You're on Twitter now. Yes, I'm on Twitter as well. I finally got onto that that Twitter uh, platform. It took me a and I'm still going through classes uh, from my uh, uh, younger folks that uh, are teaching me how to use that correctly, platform correctly. But uh, Drew at StoeyGeeks.com uh, is my email. Uh, of course, I'm on all the other uh, platforms of social media, Facebook, in- Instagram, and uh, Twitter now. So, uh, yeah, look forward to hearing from you guys and uh, let me know how I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, share some uh, stories together and uh, – have a good time with that. All right. So make sure you follow Drew on Twitter and email Drew at storygeeks.com. Give him your feedback. He'd love to hear from you. We'll read some more emails uh, online for sure. Stogie Geeks, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs>